Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to rig a double scissor lift in Blender. Let's get started. I'll share the mechanism file in the video description. Make sure all parts rotate around their joint points. Select the top joint, press Shift S, and move the cursor to this point. Press Shift A, go to Armature, and add a single bone. Open the Armature Properties tab, expand the Viewport Display Panel, and enable the In Front option so you can see the bones through the model. Press R to rotate the bone. Select the pin, press Shift plus S, and choose Cursor to select it. Select the bone, and press Tab to switch to Edit Mode. Press Shift plus S and choose Selection to Cursor. Press E to extrude the bone. In the same way, snap the bone to the second pinpoint. Select the head of the bone, extrude it, and snap it to the next pinpoint. Then select the tails of the bones and press F to connect them. Press A to select all the bones, switch to the front view, and press S, X, then 0 to align them horizontally. We don't need to add bones for the other side, because we already used a mirror modifier. Alright, let's bind the mechanism to the bones. Go to the Edit menu and disable Lock Object Modes. Select the arm, then hold Shift and select the armature. Switch to Pose Mode. Select the related bone. Press Ctrl P and choose Bone as the parent. Now, when you rotate the bone, the arm follows it. Bind the rest of the arms to their corresponding bones in the same way. All right, let's add inverse kinematics to the arms. In edit mode, move the cursor to the tail of the bone. And add an empty object there. Then move the cursor to the head of the bone and add another empty. Select the armature and switch to Pose Mode. Select the bone, go to the Bone Constraints tab, and add an Inverse Kinematics Constraint. Set the Empty as the target object and set the chain length to 2. Select the other bone and add an Inverse Kinematics Constraint in the same way. Now, when you move the empty, the bones follow it. Select the armature, hold shift, select the other empty. Press Ctrl P and set parent. You can hide the armature by pressing the H key. Now, we want the scissor mechanism to open when we lift the top platform and close when we lower it. We can do this using a transformation constraint. Select the top empty object and go to the Constraints tab. Add a transformation constraint. Set the target to the top platform. Expand the map from panel. Here, we want the top platform to move along the z-axis, so we'll set minimum and maximum values for the z-axis. Select the top platform, press N to open the side panel, and copy the Z location value by pressing Ctrl C. Then, paste this value into the maximum Z location field. For the minimum value, enter how far down you want the platform to move. 
Let's set the minimum to 3 meters. Now, open the map to panel. This panel controls how much the empty object moves along the Z axis as the platform moves. We'll link the platform's Z source axis to the empty Z location. Set the minimum to negative 3 meters on the Z axis. Move the top platform down along the Z axis. As you can see, when the platform moves down, the scissor mechanism closes, and the empty object also moves down. We can adjust the sensitivity later if needed. Now, we need the bottom empty object to move down slightly when the top platform goes down. Select the bottom empty object, then hold Shift and select the top empty. From the drop-down menu, choose Copy to Selected to copy the constraint. Select the bottom empty object and set its minimum Z location to negative 1. Now, if you select the top platform and move it down along the Z axis, you'll see the scissor mechanism closing properly. For finer adjustment, we can set the minimum Z location of the top empty object to negative 3.2. Also, we can limit how high the top platform can move using a limit location constraint. Select the top platform and add a limit location constraint. Enable the minimum and maximum for the X, Y, and Z axis. Since we only want the platform to move along the Z axis, leave the X and Y minimum and maximum values at zero. Copy the maximum Z location value from the side panel and paste it into the corresponding field. You can also set and paste the minimum Z value. And that's it. In this tutorial, we rigged a double scissor lift mechanism. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.